Hi, everyone. Welcome to Stoey Geeks News for October 16th, 2015. I'm your host, Paul Osidorian, joined on the lines via Skype by Mr. Will Cooper. Greetings, Paul. How's it going, Will? Going good. Hey, uh, what do we got in the news this week going on in the cigar industry? Rocky Patel Premium Cigars has started to roll out a new uh, brand. Um, it's called Tabaco Carrero by Hamlet Parides, um, commonly called the Hamlet Cigar, a lot of people call it. Now, Hamlet Parides is a Cuban roller who has now uh, left Cuba, and he's working for Rocky Patel full time. And this is his blend. So he worked on this blend. He's involved with the rollout of this cigar as well. So he's doing a series of events now at a lot of retailers across the country um, to kick off this particular um, new line. Um, I actually had a chance to speak to Hamlet and meet him last night um, where they were launching the cigar up in Greensboro at uh, Havana Phil's. And um, it's um, what's interesting is at these events, he's doing a rolling of like this 20 inch Calabra that they're using as a giveaway. And you can actually see him. Um, he's just an incredible craftsman to this. Incredibly knowledgeable, too, about about the industry. Very personable guy. The cigar is significant because they're actually not marketing this with the Rocky Patel name right now. So it's just Tobacco Arrow by Hamlet um, on the packaging. It's a San Andreas um, Mexican wrapper with uh, a double binder of Matafina and Mexican, as well as Nicaraguan filler. And it's coming out in five sizes, Corona, Robusto, Robusto Grande, Toro, and the Salomon. Um, I've had a chance, I start, you know, I had a chance to smoke a couple of these sizes, and they all have really, it's one is, again, sizes have different nuances with this, but I think it's a cigar. A lot of people should really check this cigar out, and I think it's a brilliant strategy by Rocky Patel to have Hamlet actually introducing this cigar to the consumers. So it has nothing to do with Shakespeare? Has nothing to do with Shakespeare. That's right. his name. Okay, that's awesome. I That's can't wait to try it. I really yeah. do, do. You know, the releases by Rocky Patel have been fabulous. They, they really have. I've smoked uh, this year. It's uh, They also have the 20th anniversary, which is a what I call a classic Rocky Patel mm -hmm. uh, cigar in terms of that nutty caramely taste. And then that Sungro Maduro uh, is a real, real good uh, cigar, too. So some really good releases um, coming by uh, with, with that brand right now. And you got some news from Drew Estate as well, Will. Yeah, so, um, and we actually covered a little bit of this on the Stogie Geek Show, but Drew Estate has officially now uh, rolled out the uh, the Norteño Edición Limitada Churchill, which is a, uh, a 7x48 uh, Churchill uh, edition to the Norteño line. It's a it's a limited run, so it's similar to what they did with the Herrera Esther Lee Lancero, but they opted to go with a, a Churchill here. Um and uh, it features the same blend, the San Andreas Mexican wrapper, Honduran binder, and Nicaraguan filler. But the blend was tweaked by Willie Herrera to get it to fit into um, that particular Churchill format. And I is smoked that, that as well. So is that a Parejo or a box press Churchill? It, it's a box press. The whole okay. line is a box press. The whole line press. is box press, right? Yep. So they kept it as a box press, yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, I think the, the box press and the Churchill can, can work a little better. I know you um, gave your review on that, and uh, I think that can contr contribute to a good smoking experience because I find you get a little better airflow on that box press, and that can be sometimes tough in a Churchill to get that good airflow and burn. Uh, in a cigar that's, you know, in that shape, uh, 7x49. So I can see the box press Churchill working, and now I really want to try that cigar. Yeah, and they call this a Parejo Prensado because it's a softer box press, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, it's still box press when you, when you look at it. So, you know, and it's going to smoke like a box press. Excellent. You got one over there that, uh, let's see if I can pronounce this right, El Catador de, de los Petit Robustos. Did I get that right? Sort of? Yes, you got it right. <laughs> El Catador de, de los Petit Robustos. So normally with, with a news item, I don't we, we, we like to cover more of the nationwide stuff, but I think there's some significance. This is actually something that's going to serious cigars from Roma Craft to back in Texas um, for an event they have. I'm sorry, Stogie's World Class Cigars. My yeah, apologies. I was going to say serious My isn't in Texas, but... But uh, Stogie's World Class Cigars are having their big, uh, their big uh, jamboree and wingding event. Um, what's significant about this is they have a sampler of um, five petite robustos across all the lines. So it's the uh, Cro-Magnon, the Aquitaine, the two Intemperance, the BA, and the EC line, 
and a Neanderthal. But but here's the catch with the Neanderthal. Um, they're, they've actually changed up that cigar. So instead of working with the San Andreas wrapper, they're going with a barba pole consisting of the wrappers from Cro-Magnon and Aquitaine, which is the Broadleaf and the Ecuadorian Habano. So it's Neanderthal filler and binder with Aquitaine and Cro-Magnon wrappers in a barba pole. Yep, and it's called oh, wow. Neanderthal GD. That's which cool. Is, but... And it's significant because the reason is, yes, it's going to uh, Stogie's, but typically at Aroma Craft events, um, the Aroma Craft people, Skip and Michael Rosales, they will bring some of these cigars that are the shop exclusives. So yeah. I don't know if they're specifically going to bring this cigar, but chances are you may see this. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I just think it's a really cool idea. It, it makes the sampler, it just makes the sampler kind of stand out and it gives you kind of a reason and you get something new with that, which is nice. Yeah. That's awesome. I can't wait to try that one, too. Yep. Excellent. Well, thanks, everyone, for tuning in to Stogie Geeks News. Make sure you check out our live show every Thursday evening, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, stogiegeeks.com forward slash live, where you can watch and participate in our chat room. And, of course, cigar-coop.com for all the latest cigar news and reviews. Thanks, everyone, for watching.